Yo, what's up, my Uncle Seal here with another ADV narration, and today we got Asta versus Undisputed. Now, Asta is on the Wolfpack, and Undisputed is on the Ruiners, and I think at the time of playing, it was already 1-0 for Wolfpack. And, I think, yeah, that was Solwyn versus 3-3 Kings, nice BW match, and Solwyn beat him. So, I've been trying to avoid spoilers for two days right now, so, um... Yeah, I haven't I haven't gotten any spoilers from the game yet, so that's kind of nice. So we okay okay we see Zapdos per Tyranitar, but not Blissey. I don't see a Blissey yet. We're all safe. So I'm trying to. I really oh no. Okay, I was just, I was just gonna okay two scar no. Okay, I was just I was just gonna say I don't I don't I hope I don't see uh, fat boys. But yeah, we see taunt scarm on Asta's side. Probably some fast taunt scarm to outspeed other scarms and molest them, and uh, then I rocks. So I don't know if Asta has a spinner. I assume. I don't know, he has some fat boys, but he does have two flying types, so I actually don't know. Purge is the only Pokemon affected by T-Spike, or T-Spikes, what the fuck, affected by Spikes at the moment. So, Zapdos switches in on G Gengar and gets burned, which is gonna suck, because that's gonna chip away at Zapdos severely. So, um, Undisputed can go into- <laughs> I was just gonna say he can go into Blissey if he has it, but yeah, he does have it, okay. So that's extremely disgusting, so he T-Waves because it is his best play. Uh, Undisputed has Snorlax in the back that would have crippled the Snorlax severely, but it is a Scar and Blissey, so yeah, I mean, it's semi-finals tiebreak, I can't blame them, but it looks like the bad jokes are gonna have to get pulled out again, that's all I'm saying. So, um, we see Zapdos hurt Scarm Core, which is something I like, I see Celebi in the back as well. So that's a nice, nice, natural cure, nice, uh, toxic sponge, eating that shit up for breakfast. So, the Celebi can definitely put in some work. Just lead chaining everything. I just see it's flamethrower blissey, which is interesting for sure. So Asa's team is definitely cool. Undisputed's team is kinda cool as well. Nice Gengar Titar plus the Skarm Bliss Fatty Core. So that's nice. It goes back to Skarm to try to lay up another spike as it's Skarm on Skarm action again. Asa's play is like spikes or taunt, whatever he wants. But uh, I think Undisputed definitely has a spinner, so I hope Asa has a spinner as well, because then like if he doesn't, it's kinda fucked. So there's a spinner on the Undisputed side revealed, it's Starmie. Um yeah, could like either it was bulky water plus um, ground type or it was Starmie plus some other fillermon. So I hope for us that he has a spinner because otherwise he's like mega fucked, but I assume he does. So the Starmie is still f scared up by the Zapdos as Asta doubles Duck Show in. Okay. That was actually quite a cool play, but now he has to switch out anyway. So he goes into Celebi as he gets roared out. So he has a roar plus spikes, and Asta does not have a spinner, so that is gonna suck so hard. That is gonna suck super hard for Asta. And we see that he has four mods affected by spikes as well. Damn. Damn, that sucks. I mean, I get that he has a Skarmory, plus he has a Dougie, but oh, who goes after this and gets roared out again? So, Undisputed is chipping the entire entirety of Asta's squad. Holy fuck. I really want Asta to win, don't get me wrong, because, like, he's, the, he's not the one with the Blissey, but. I don't know. This is looking real rough. Like, if the Zapdos doesn't have rest, it's 100%, like, it's <laughs> it's basically dead right now, so. Because it's at, it's at 22 and burned. So that's like, if Zapdos goes down, it's only, it's only Skarmory that doesn't get affected by spikes. Yeah, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, let's go, boys, let's go, let's go, boys. It's the rest Zapdos, that's actually quite nice. Because rest Zapdos is actually pretty good versus these fat teams, because it can switch in on a lot. But Undis is just going to get up as the last spike and switch the fuck out of there. But it's nice that he got his last spike up as well. That was just burning some sleep turns. Cruel Wing comes out, chipping away at the T-Tar. So, Asta still has a shot for sure. It's not like it's completely over with all this Whirlwind Roar plus Spike Spam, but, like, all of his mods getting chipped really sucks for him. So he keeps Whirlwinding out. Like, there's nothing Asta can do about this. All of his mods just keep getting chipped, which sucks super hard. Surfer doesn't do jack shit because Skarmory is fat as fuck. So he Whirlwinds him out to his own Skarmory finally, so he can get the taunt off. But Undis is gonna switch for sure. But now he gets no, <laughs> now Undisputed is in the whirlwind lock. So yeah, now the, now now it's coming back. It's coming back to bite him in the ass. So it's nice whirlwind scarm on whirlwind scarm action. So there's nothing this T-Tar, like there's nothing these mons can even do. Like Rock Slide's not gonna do shit. There's gonna be, oh, it's gonna be a toxic. That's a, actually a power play predicting Undisputed to stay in because he could have easily won Gengar and slurped up that toxic. So I mean, this Rock Slide is doing a lot, and there's obviously no Roost in Gen three. So Scarm is getting chipped. Chipped down but uh, I guess it's fine and he also doesn't have a wish plaster in the back like those those teams are the grossest <laughs> like wish blissey plus skarmy <laughs> those make me puke like super hard so bliss can get himself healthy right now as zapdos can burn last sleep turn or just switch right out hmm if he, if he can get duck trail in on a weekend blissey and trap that shit that would be nice so he goes hard t -tar. 
Um, do, do we see it's banned yet? Okay, it's leftovers. So we know that we, we know it's confirmed leftovers. And it <laughs> tries to focus punch. Oh, the scarm comes in. This is gonna do this is gonna do a chunk for sure. Yeah, 40. That's a that's a it's kind of a big chunk to be honest. Yeah, 40 is definitely nice in Skarmory. I mean, if it's Wish Blissey, that's like that's measly damage, but it doesn't really get a wish on a lot of its team. So if we can get a flinch here. Oh, Rock Slide always flinching in SPL semifinals confirmed. Rock Slide is the luckiest move ever. So <laughs> Skarmory is gonna get molested. As he tries to focus punch catching, um, I mean, I guess just catching the perk to do a lot of damage to it. But Skarmory is going to get up his lefties and now go perk. So, did he click focus punch? No, he does not. He clicked rock slide. So, Undisputed kind of getting that outplay right there. But this TTR healed up so much. That's actually insane. So, this is a free ass perk, or free ass zap those, but he gets roared out into Duck Chill. So EQ is gonna come off here, no protect, but instead just an ice beam to kill off the Duck Chill. But Purge is really low, um, Skarm is really low. This might be a chance for Asta to break through, but I think in the end it's gonna be Fat Boys on Fat Boys action. I think it's gonna be like Celebi and Zapdos in the end for Asta. Hmm. Asta still has a shot, but yeah, I mean, I mean, Undisputed still has a shot, even with uh, Skarmory and Swampert lowered. But it's gonna be annoying for him because his fat fat boys are down, and his basically his um, T Tar switches are gonna be down. Because yeah, I mean, I don't think it's. Um, it's not mixed, right? So there's no dark move on deck. So Starmie can kind of switch in well, but not really though. That's kind of ass. I assume just Celebi is gonna come in here if it has grass move on that. Um, Zabdos can come in here if he has HP grass to burn. Wait, Zabdos, I think Zabdos wakes up here. Unless I'm making a miscalculation, Zabdos wakes up on this turn, and he can go Zabdos to fire off HP ice. Or HP Ice, what the fuck am I saying? Oh, this is not. <laughs> I don't know why I said HP Ice. I'm thinking of uh, Ultra Sun Moon for some reason. I'm like, when I say Zapdos, I'm like used to saying HP Ice, but obviously I mean HP Gas. I mean, if he has HP Ice for some reason to beat Salamences, I guess he can use that too, but this man has a Skarm, so I doubt it. Um, So, my man Oss is thinking long and hard about this one. So, he doesn't have a Celebi with Grass move, I assume. Otherwise, that was like an easy, brainless click. Although, um, then Gengar get, basically gets a free ass switch in. Um, but not really, because if you're Psychic on the Gengar switch, it gets bopped if he has that. So that would be kind of an interesting situation. And Swampert is what is fodder anyway. Like, Swampert is going to get fucked by uh, Spikes, but there's still there's still the opportunity of Rabbit Spin. And because Starmie basically outspeeds the entirety of Asta's team, he can get a Rabbit Spin on anything. Even if it's going to cost him his life. So Asta is really thinking long and long about this turn. So, yeah, basically gone over all of his plays. Um, all teams revealed as well, so I can't I can't make as predictions. But we see that undisputed. <laughs> like I get why you would bring these type of teams, these type of teams with like a fat scarmless backbone, but just annoying for me to watch because like nobody likes this, you know. I mean the reason I like ADV is because it's basically it's bulky and it's it's more about like actually playing. Like obviously luck matters, <laughs> as we saw in UD versus Jirachi, but. Um, luck matters because it's Pokemon, but it's it's more about outplaying your opponent. It's more about skillfully chipping away at your opponent in ADB. Like, chipping away at Swampert, Skarmory's, T-Tars, it's so important in this gen. Chipping away at Zapdos, like, chipping away at all these Pokemon, it's so important. And just getting Vet Chip is super nice. So this man Austin might have DC'd, <laughs> or he's uh, trying to call in his ghosting friends, not JK, but... I don't know, he's, he's really thinking hard about this turn. Nice Dennis the Menace making every single calc possible. So, <laughs> bro, like, there's nothing, nothing on it going on in S2's chat as well. Nothing I can talk about. This is kind of boring. So we might have to, might have to load up the Pokemon jokes. But Celebi gets thrown out finally. So I assume he has an attacking move on this. So to kill the Swampert. I mean, if he has lead, nah, never mind. Doesn't really work. But yeah, as Teach says here, Asa was thinking like 10 million turns ahead. This man was predicting the next Ice Age because. He made some go plays. So Celebi just comes in to roar, or Celebi just comes in to recover as Pert roars, so this uh, Pert from Undisputed is healing up. So he can protect the switch out here, although that would give Asta's Pert health as well. So I don't know if that's the best all around play. But Undisputed's Pert lives at 4 after Spikes. So I mean that's not a lot, you can't heal with that, but he does, per he does opt to go for Protect to have a bit more HP. Which, I mean I get that. You would like to have a bit more HP, even if that involves giving your opponent a bit more HP as well. So he serves on the Gengar switch, doing a clean 30. I mean, 30 is not that good, but it's not that bad either. 
So he can just tech and get his uh, HP here. So he goes into Blissey. The thing is, like, he could protect, but if it's Wish Bliss, he might get a Wish back up. So he just soft boils here. As Pert gets the Toxic off. So it's that's a cool set. Toxic Pert. So it's Toxic Surf. Tact. That's cool. So it was in Starmie to try to get the spin off. Finally. But this Pert is healing. Uh, uh, Asta's Pert is healing all the way up. This is the same problem Undisputed had with the Titar as well. Like he, you could switch around a Pokemon, but like if it's if it's just gaining HP, that's why um, Round and Rock types are so amazing in this tier because they just keep gaining HP with leftovers. They're so good. But yeah, the Swampert's getting back all the way. It, it got back from like 60 to full, just by <laughs> just by attacking. That's crazy. So he fires off another Toxic just to slow down this army. But yeah, Undisputed Team is rocking that double Natural Cure core. Which is super disgusting. Which basically allows you to like switch back and forth between those two and stall out any sort of... Um, what's that called? Status. Yeah. So he goes on T-Tar. <laughs> so now it's time for T-Tar to heal all the way back up with the same strategy. So, I don't know. This is might be some defensive Starmie. So I don't know the head calc if that kills. But it's a stab, a super effective move. So I assume it does. Yeah, especially if it's Hydro Pump and not Surf. So he goes into Celebi and catches that. Now the Starmie can't stay in uh, with the fear of HP Grass. So, okay, double recover. So, nice play on Undisputed's part. If that is HP Grass Selby, he really got off lucky there. But, yeah, he, he kind of did what he needed to do because he needed to keep that healthy. But as we've seen, all the leeches get thrown off. Either it's not HP Grass or Ostage is just making the good play, predicting the Blissey. So, okay, he doubles back to Skarmory to try to get a bit more HP, but it's CM Selby. Okay, CM Leechied, which is super, super nice. I actually like that side a lot because you can chip away at those fat walls with Leechied and just stay in. So, it's Psychic as the attacking move there. This is the first attack move there. But, um, yeah, so it's Psychic, Recover, CM, Leechied, which is a cool set. So he got the Leechied off, um, and Asta is healing up his Skarmory as well. Like, Undisputed Skarmory's not staying healthy because of that, and Asta is healing up all his Pokemon. Got his Spike up again. Skarmory's getting healed. He can, yeah, he can just go Celebi. This is the freest Celebi of his life, as a Rabbit Spin is gonna get thrown off, obviously. So... You would say Oz is not really making progress, but that's, that's what I, that's what I was about to say. Oz is not really making progress, but he's getting his zap, uh, or what's zap? He's getting a Skarmory healthy. I don't know why I said zap, but he's getting a Skarmory healthy in the process. So Undisputed doubles his uh, Skarmory as he catches a Psychic right to the face. So he takes like 10 chip from that, which is gonna suck because the Skarmory's already super low and he's forced back out. So I assume Bleach is gonna get thrown off or CM that works as well. So this Celebi can actually be a huge problem. Especially if Asta somehow finds a way. Oh no! Oh, what? Yeah, I was gonna say especially if Asta somehow finds a way to trap the Bissy with Duck Show, but that that boy Duck Show is dead. So nice noob narration making that juicy mistake. Um, so Asta tries to catch him on the double lead sheet, but that goes wrong. But the toxic also goes wrong. It goes <laughs> nice to the left, which is what I like to see. Um, the thing with the Celebi set is it. I want to say it can touch Cheetar. It has the lead to touch Cheetar, but that's kind of weak. Um, I get the I get the thing with the theme is. If you have your spikes, then t is going to get worn down by those. And plus Leechied, like, t is going to get worn down a lot. Which is, 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 yeah, that's fine. But when there's no spikes, when there's a reliable spinner like Starmie right there, then spikes are never getting up for Austin. So Starmie comes back in for free as <laughs> Wait and Power blasts him right across the face and that boy lives on too. So, oh my lord, HP Bug just hit that boy right across the face. So it hits that pump, goes into Zapdos, and Zapdos eats that up for- That's breakfast for boy Zapdos, and Starmie is at uh, 8% right now. So that's- that sucks. That sucks for Undisputed, because if the Starmie goes down, then Asta can start spike stacking on Undisputed, and then the Blissey is going to take so much from Entry Hazards, and then it's basically unwinnable for him. Because the- because shit like the TTR and the Celebi are going to be too pressuring. So Flamethrower, no burn. So no no hacks in that sense. So Blissey's forced to recover here. Also, he's gonna take advantage of that, obviously. So he's gonna go into Skarmory here. Now this is a pivotal. This is definitely a pivotal turn, because Undisputed basically has to go Starmie. As he does not go Starmie and flamethrowers. Okay, so Starmie's dead, and uh, Austin can start spike stacking now. That's huge. Okay, so like either he went Starmie, or he just let Starmie go down and let his spinner go down in the process. Damn, that's wild. Because now if Asta can get his Skarm in on a few things. Ooh, that sucks. Why would you let your Pert get toxic like that? Ooh, that's really gonna sting for Pert in the uh, T-Tar matchup. So, Ganger comes in here. 
Oh, goat. Oh, I didn't expect that. Refresh. That's actually super cool. So it's mono surf and okay, that's interesting. That's cool. Um, I like that. So we see that Asta's team is not really as uh, defensive as Undisputed team, but it definitely has some of these defensive sets. Um, it definitely has that nice rest Dablos. It has that recover on uh, Celebi. It has refresh on Perds. It has that refresh toxic combination. And it has Lichie to keep Skarmory and Titar healthy, which is super nice. And then Dark Charger to trap Magnetons. So I love Asta's team. That's just what I wanted to say. Like, I love that team. Undisputed team is definitely cool as well. It has like some offensive vibe to it in the way of Gengar, which can like kind of chip, like kind of, how should I say, chip away at things with Will-O-Wisp and it's good coverage. And then T-Tar, which is uh, obviously an offensive threat as well. But that might just be some pursuit set. So Gengar on per action per is forced out by the Gengar potential Giga Drain. And this Gengar is, with <laughs> this Gengar with the right coverage actually just, how, what? Asus is going to get molested by this Gengar with the right coverage. So he scouts as we do see Giga Drain getting revealed. So that's one out of eight Giga Drain PP gone. But I don't think that's going to matter in the long run. So if it's Ice Punch, T Bolt, Giga Drain, Will O Wisp, which is, I guess, kind of. Yeah, I mean, that could. That has like super effective uh, moves for everything except for Titor. But Titor is kind of low. Like, it's not that low, but with the spikes and everything, it's kind of low. So Asta kind of has that same idea that Unsputed has. Unsputed has that double natural cure core, and Asta has that natural cure plus refresh core, so you can also uh, just fuck over status conditions. So I guess that's Atlas in on the Skarmory very nicely. Flamethrower Blissey on Unsputed's side is super cool because that that does help with Skarmory. So I don't know why he doubled the Skarmory on the Blissey. Doesn't really make sense to me because the Blissey was super obvious. He can just get up his two spikes and be done with be done with it. To be honest. And just fought off his Garmory. That could be a possible play. He could also just take it easy and just twitch back out. The thing is, Blissey might soft boil here, so Asta might see this as a chance to get up a spike. So he does get up a spike, okay. So Flamethrower just come out. I think that's a good plan on Undisputed Spark, because Asta's best play was spikes as well. So now either soft boiled is gonna come out. I think Purge is the best play. Yeah, Purge has come out, and soft boiled come out. It's okay, so. Um, Asta did get up a spike, but Skarmory's super low right now. Skarm can still get up his last spike later, and two spikes is already pressuring. So we're gonna have some toxic on surf action. I was gonna say toxic on toxic action again, but he surfs. I guess trying to catch the Gengar, because toxic was really obvious. That's cool. It was the Gengar as refresh is obviously gonna come out. So that's gonna suck. My big boy Gengar is back in, and Gengar uh, has levitated this gen, so not taking damage from that. Will the Wisp, which is the correct play, not wasting a Giga Drain PP. And Will the Wisp hits everything on Asa's team. Except for the, uh, I, I keep saying, I keep saying, um, I keep calling Celebi Rachi. I noticed that in my last video as well. So I apologize for that. Like, I don't know why. They're both like, kind of like pixie fairy psychic type things. But yeah, he can go Celebi on the will -O But that's not going to appreciate a super effective ice punch to the face. So this Gengar is a huge threat to Asa's team. This Gengar is a huge threat to Asa's team in general. As he fire punches on the Zapdos, not doing any damage, not getting to burn either. That actually doesn't do shit. Ice Punch doesn't even kill. <laughs> Hello, the Zapdos is like hyper fat. So this is the freest rest of the Zapdos life. Because, uh, yeah. He can just get up his rest so he can be able to wall Gengar later. Okay, so that's, that's one less threat Asta has to worry about. So Zapdos basically covers the Gengar. So I didn't know that, but this is like some super spit up Zapdos. Which does make sense because otherwise his Gengar matchup is kind of shitty. So Ice Beam gets thrown off. That doesn't do shit either. And for some reason, uh, Ice Beam from Blissey does the same as Ice Punch from Gengar. <laughs> Nice Gengar garbage mon. So it goes into the Swamper here. And gets frozen. Can we not? Can we not hacks again? Okay, just thaw. Just thaw out, buddy. Like, just thaw. Just surf here on the Gengar and just thaw out, buddy. Like, come on. You can do it. You can do it, Mr. Swampert. I, I have faith in the Swampert, but uh, this might be a nasty L. So he doubles the T-Tar on the Gengar. King. King Asta predicting that Gengar immaculately. Asta is the best to ever do it, so he's just gonna pull it back to Zapdos here. <laughs> Pretty the Willow Wisp, but still, go to Asta. I mean, his C tar just took a round of spikes, so it doesn't really work out for him, but yeah, you know. I'm still gonna just call him a go for that play. So that was gonna burn in a sleep turn. Might burn the last one here. Uh, I think switching out might be a play as well, but he just burns the last one by toxicking. So, 
This Atlas is toxic as well, which is what I like. I like the toxic plus toxic plus leeched core, just to chip opponents down. And Duckcho can trap like a lot of weakened opponents, so that's that's super cool because you can wear them now with toxic and leech it and trap them later with my boy back Duckcho. So Celebi is gonna be able to just get his recover here as Skarm comes out. So Skarm basically it doesn't wall the Celebi obviously because of leech it. The thing is, if he um, just leech sheets after this. On the Skarm, Skarm hits Whirlwind, some mod is gonna get health back. Like, either Skarm... Yeah, he just toxic on Selby, which is a correct play. Like, either Swampert, Skarm, or Tito is gonna get health back, and they all need that health. So Skarm is gonna need to pull it back here. I would pull it back if I were Asla as well, you don't want this toxic Selby in. But he just leeches it again, which is a power maneuver, that's actually a super cool play. So we're already at 100 turns, almost. <laughs> so, you already know Fat Boys on Fat Boys action. The thing is, with this game, um, last game when it was Fat Boys um, action, I had to pull out the bad jokes for like half of the battle. But this game is actually really entertaining. Like I'm just I can just keep rambling on about this game. So he finally burns his Zapdos, but it can rest his off later as well. Um, the thing is, it can't switch in too well right now with Ice Punch, um, because Ice Punch actually does a huge shit ton right now. But T Bolt, who T Bolt? Does that is that is that a roll? Is that a roll? Ooh, that is a roll. Okay, so rip Blissey. That's over. Yeah, this is over. This is over as fuck. Hello? Okay, I didn't know that was a roll. I thought Blissey would eat too uh, easily. I mean, there's nothing Endless Peter could do, to be honest. Because Purchase gets popped by HP Grass, so... He can just pull it back to Swampert next Frozen Boy. He DDs, but he's gonna get worn down by Poison here. How do you even let his T-Tar get poisoned? I actually don't recall T-Tar getting poisoned ever. Oh, oh, goat, 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 Skarmory on the T-Tar, can hit protect, nice stall, damn, Oz the goat, only Oz would make such a play, imagine if he spikes on the switch here to get that flex point, <laughs> it is not the play though, protect's always the play, just to scare out T-Tar again, but yeah, imagine if he just got those flex points, just get up that free spike, <laughs> but yeah, so T-Tar isn't really that big of a threat, because it's gonna get worn down with spikes, plus toxic, plus... Um, the fact that he uses double protect on Skarm and Pert. So he can just thaw out this T-Tar easily. Even with the leftovers recovery. Because I think Toxic does... What does it do? I think it does 18 next turn? So he did not protect. He didn't have it? What? I thought uh, that Skarm we already real protect, but... Okay. Okay, so if Swampert can thaw and protect here, that would be nice. Because he can get to keep Swampert. But it's going to be a double down even if he doesn't thaw. So that's fine. Like, that's... It's fine. Oh, he does thaw in tech. Okay, fire. So he gets to keep his pert, which is, um, I was gonna say that's kind of lucky, but I mean, I mean, he got frozen, so he can thaw whenever he likes. Um, so actually, I was wrong on my information. That wouldn't have been a double down. Uh, as you can see, uh, Undisputed Rock Slided, predicting the Swampert. So even if he didn't thaw out, Rock Slide, I don't think would have killed. Unless he got like a high roll, maybe a max roll. I don't think a max roll would have even killed at that range. No, definitely not. So, yeah, I, I, it would have it would have been a double down anyway. So it doesn't really matter. And Zablos cleans house right now. Skarmory is uh, not the play, my man. I mean, neither is any of the other plays because <laughs> Zablos is gonna rest, and yeah, Zablos is gonna molest. So Zablos putting in the finest amount of work here. Damn, that was the goat of the tier. The uh, thing I don't like about how Undisputed played it, he sacked his Scar uh, he sacked his Starmie in a way. I don't know, he played his Starmie in such a way that he just sacked it off eventually. And that's how Asta won, by getting up his spikes. He only got two spikes at the end, but he still got off his spikes, and he still... And yeah, I mean, the spikes... Um, what, I'm uh, what I'm trying to say is the spikes allowed his Zapdos to win. And that's the reason Zapdos won, because if he didn't have spikes, Blizzy could wall Zapdos to the end of days. But because of those spikes, that was a roll. So, I actually do not know the roll, but... Yeah, I, I, I actually don't, but I might I might have to look that up after the battle to see what the roll is. But I don't know their spreads, but I do know that's a super fat Zapdos, though, so... I don't know, I don't think it's invested too much into attack, or special attack in this case. So, this Celebi is also just cleaning house. Celebi also basically wins at this point. Gengar's the only thing that can come in and it gets Oko by Psychic, so one Mon is gonna go down, the others are gonna go down, um, to my boy Zapdos. 
So, Asta wins this, and that means Wolfpack win the tiebreaker 2-0. I mean, unless Gengar freezes everything and crits everything and it breaks through everything. Uh, which wouldn't surprise me after UD versus Jirachi, to be honest. It wouldn't surprise me if Gengar just, like, crit the Celebi and then crit the Zapdos twice and then uh, easy GG. So, no crit. Okay, we're good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so the Wolfpack won the thing 2-0. So, the runes are going home. So, it is Wolfpack versus... I'm gonna actually load this up. Load this up. Second screen. Okay, so we got this. Load that shit up. So, we see that um, Team Raiders also smashed the timer. It's nice 2 0 beatdown as well. We can see in TDK the two uh, goats. So, we see Raiders versus Wolfpack in the finals. And I actually, I actually predicted this. So, I'm the goat predicting. Goat man. So, let's see. Um, yeah, he did. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I just have downs. Um, my man Doc showed it as well, but he didn't show the full scores. Never mind. But yeah, Soul Wind versus BKC or Soul Wind versus BKC. Soul Wind versus Week Three Kings wasn't played at the time this was recorded. So we know the finals are now, and I'm excited to see that ADV game as well. So that's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be Asta versus, gonna be Asta versus Jirachi, which is gonna be nice uh, because Jirachi is a lucky piece of shit. So my man Asta is gonna get hacks as well. So we see that Austin undisputed both like they went one one against each other in this um, in this series and both games were super fun so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video hit that juicy like hit that juicy subscription subscribe to my channel because I need some love and yeah peace.